Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is June 20th of 2012. This is the Texan TV News from the campus of Tarleton State University, and I am Lucy Pound. In today's headlines, Alsup shooting suspect faces more charges, Splashville offers water safety training, Texas dad won't face charges in alleged attacker's death, 911 call details moments after King found in conservative sworn in as fourth Greek prime minister in eight months. Now, today's top story. According to the Empire Tribune, additional charges have been filed against the man accused of firing shots inside a busy steam mill convenience store earlier this month. Joshua Brian Fritz now faces four more charges and has his bond been raised to $700,000. At first, he was charged with aggravated robbery, a first degree felony. The Empire Tribune reports that Stephenville police filed four additional charges against Fritz on Tuesday, three counts of deadly conduct, a second-degree felony, and attempting to take a weapon from a peace officer, a state jail felony. For each additional charge, bond was set at $50,000 each, according to jail records. Chief Patrick Bridges told the Empire Tribune he did appear to be under the influence of something, Bridges said. But even if he was, that does not defend or excuse his behavior. Now for the latest in state, national, and international news from the Associated Press. In Greece, the head of Greece's Conservative Party, Antonis Samaras, has been sworn in as Prime Minister to head a three-party coalition that will uphold the country's international bailout commitments. Samaras, 61, was sworn in Wednesday, three days after his party came first in the second national elections in six weeks. However, he failed to win enough votes to form a government on its own. His new democracy party will join forces with the socialist PASOK party, which came in third place, and the smaller democratic left. In Los Angeles, Rodney King's fiance repeatedly implored authorities to hurry in a frantic 911 call saying she woke to the sounds of a fall and found him at the bottom of the swimming pool. In audio authorities released Tuesday, Cynthia Kelly tells a dispatcher that she threw a shovel to try to rouse King, but he wasn't responding. The five minute, 15 second phone call ends with the arrival of police officers who pulled King from the pool at the Rialto, California home and began life-saving efforts. He was taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Police have said they have found no signs of foul play and continue to investigate King's case as an accidental drowning. Authorities are awaiting toxicology results and said they will use them in conjunction with an autopsy performed Monday to determine how King died. King became famous after his beating by Los Angeles police in 1991, was captured on videotape and broadcast worldwide. The trial of four officers charged with felony assault in the beating ended after a, after a jury with no black members acquitted three of the officers on state charges. A mistrial was declared for the fourth. The verdict sparked one of the most costly and deadly race riots in the nation's history. In Texas, hearing his five-year-old daughter crying from behind a barn, a Shiner Texas father ran and discovered the unthinkable, a man molesting her. The father pulled the man off of his daughter, authorities say, and started pummeling him to death with his fist. With his daughter finally safe, the father frantically called 911, begging a dispatcher to find his rural ranch and send an ambulance. The tense, nearly five minute phone call begins with the father saying he beat up a man found raping his daughter. The father grows increasingly frazzled, shouting into the phone so loudly at times that the call becomes inaudible. The Associated Press is not identifying the father in order to protect the daughter's identity. The AP just generally does not identify victims of sexual assault. In declining to indict, indict the 23-year-old father in the June 9th killing of Jesus Mora Flores, a Lavaca County grand jury reached the same conclusion as investigators and many of the father's neighbors. He was authorized to use deadly force to protect his daughter. On this first day of summer, families are headed to backyard pools and local lakes to cool off during these hot days, but drownings are a real threat to summer fun in the sun. Splashville Stephenville's own water park is holding swimming lessons Monday through Thursday mornings for children and adults. Lessons also include CPR and first aid training days. According to the United States Consumer Product Safety Commission's report on the 2011 summer swimming season, Texas leads the nation in child drownings. 
Splashville Pool Manager Deanna Green encourages families to enroll their children in swimming lessons, but warns parents to ensure their children wear personal flotation devices in lakes and when unsupervised, even if they have attended swimming lessons previously. Green also advocates that children should always be supervised while in or around water. For $50, participants will earn life-saving water safety that could save a life this summer. Spaces are limited, so sign up early to save a spot. The next round of lessons begin July 9th, and the last session begins July 23rd. Adults can sign up for private lessons to work around their summer schedules. You can sign up for swimming lessons by calling Splashville at 254-918-2088. This Friday, Farmers Insurance is hosting a Be a Hero for Babies Day. The event is to help raise money for the March of Dimes. This is a walk to help in researching and preventing premature babies. The money also goes to the families of children who will require special hospital care due to an early birth. According to Joe Altabomber, the owner of Joe Altabomber Financial Solutions in Insurance, Stephenville's Farmers Branch has participated in raising money for this event for seven years. The March of Dimes has been raising money for research and family since 1970. The research fund funded by this program studies the pre that pregnancy terms and could be threatening to the child. With this research, women are more likely to have full term and healthy pregnancies. Special hospital care is also made a possibility to money conscious parents because the funds help families with extended terms in hospitals when the children are in meticulous care after birth. There is a nationwide campaign to wear purple for Be a Hero for Babies Day. There will be a raffle at the office, including items like a pocket knife, a pendant, or cuff bracelet. There will also be two horseshoe wall crosses that will be raffled. The last of it the, will last all day. If you would like to be a hero, come down to the Farmer's Insurance Office on the Northwest Loop and make a donation to help children and their families. In sports, Facebook on Monday launched an official London Olympics page for fans to connect with their favorite athletes and teams. A Move It says can help make this summer's games the first truly social one. Many athletes, as well as the London Games organizers, already connect with their fans on the own online social network. But Facebook says its new Discover London 2012 page is a portal that brings together the profile pages of hundreds of athletes, national teams, and official organizing bodies to make them more accessible to its 900 million users. The site features pages dedicated to specific Olympic sports and links to the official pages of about 60 national teams and 200 athletes including household names such as swimmer Michael Phelps, basketball stars LeBron James and Kobe Bryant, and soccer's David Beckham. Facebook has promised to add more in the run-up to the Olympics, which are to be held from July 27th to August 12th, but a spokesman admitted it would be impossible to get all countries up on the site. Team China, for example, is missing because Facebook is banned there. Today's weather is partly cloudy and windy with a thunderstorm or two possible this evening with a high of 89 degrees. Winds are south-southeast at 20 to 30 miles per hour with a 30% chance of rain. Today's broadcast was produced by Travion Davis, Matt Lennox, Kylie Woodman, Matt Mills, and Jenny Klein. You can follow us on Ustream.tv slash user slash Texan News Service. Don't forget to tell your friends about us and become a fan of Texan TV News on Facebook. I am Lucy Pound. Tune in next Wednesday for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.